to whoop, you know, because I just be uh, whooping off the top of my head. I just heard so, mad sound effects. Yeah. So I got <laughs> there, you know, came over with something called Is Misery Your Best Friend? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which, okay. you know, every time I try to do something, you know, I try to put a little spin, a little twist on it. And I know you like always thinking, what the hell is that little brother over there talking about? But it's ways you can dissect it and break that. You know what I'm saying? Because if you know what the old saying of misery means, it's just, it's always somebody that's in your cone to keep mess going on. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's always that person you can go tell this person something, and then you'll jump over there to them, to the people they talking about, listen to what they saying about them, and then you come in the middle and start your own bullshit. That, that's mm. what the misery means. But see, what people don't realize is you can dissect that and you put it into your, your growth, your business, and just your mindset, mm -hmm. and trying to do what you need to do at work. Because you always, if you notice, every time you in some bullshit, this, that, the third, it's a million folks around. Yeah. But once you got down, get rid of the fucking misery, ain't hardly no goddamn body. Yeah. Saying that is, you got to focus on what's for you, who for you, who really trying to be there for you. Don't think, you know, because somebody keeping some mess going on, some gossip going on, that could be stopping you from your growth because you got that misery on your corner. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then just like he said in the word today, don't, don't, don't try to get it because that misery of that best friend of that company, some people probably ain't gonna know what I'm about to talk about, but uh, what I'm about to say is don't be the one that's getting getting buried in Egypt. Mm. Be the one that's getting buried by the Red Sea. Meaning, y'all out here keeping all this shenanigans going, this, that, and the third, but you thinking you want to be promoted, you think you want to get your business grow, you want to do all this, mm -hmm. and your misery can have you buried in Egypt. Mm, that's deep. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You need to get to the point in your life where you don't even have a misery, but if you do have misery, you know how to shake it off and just let the misery stay there. Because I want to be going by the Red Sea. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. I mean, if everybody who don't understand that analysis that I just put out there, get yourself around somebody or just be by yourself that's not going to bring that misery and that negative effect to you. Yeah. Because that negative effect going to always be there. And, and it's so many people be focused on the misery and miss they doggone blessing. Yeah, that's deep. That's deep. Yeah. I'm am I to add it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. sure. I, was, <laughs> I didn't know if you were taking a pause. Or... Uh, no, no. Nah. I, 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 stop it at the mind. Nah, I feel Listen, I feel you. I just, I just look at it, too. I appreciate that. That's deep because, you know.